Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. So, got something on my Discord today. Pretty interesting. Wanted to get your guys' take on it. And there is also an Aptoid code at the top of the screen. Aptoid. Very simple. Nice and easy to use. And if you want to sp help support the channel, it would be much appreciated. I wanted to let you know how some servers run themselves. I know some people think, you know, my server is so bad. I hate them. We got all these big guys and they tell us what to do. So this is a server that has an unconventional approach. They're trying to change things to become more competitive. And it's server 1132. So let's look at what the server is proposing or the top alliance is proposing to make the server more competitive. Let me know what you guys think. So proposed nap changes. So I think they have a nap now. And in order to be part of the nap, you will have to abide by these rules going forward or else you will be Bob and the rest of the server will be nap that sort of stuff so these are the changes in light of recent itch issues such as speed rallying and march interference we propose a new nap agreement with revised terms these changes aim to maintain server harmony and support the growth of both pvp and non-pvp players ensuring a competitive environment new nap terms Ymir Pan Hydra score limits based on SVS positive points. So you will be allowed to kill certain bosses depending on how you contribute in SVS. Resource allocation will prioritize those actively contributing to PvP. 1 billion plus positive SVS points, a 4,000 score limit, and first place if multiple above 1 billion 750 to 1 billion you guys can read the rest that's i, I don't really understand all of it with the 1000 score at the side the ranking mentioned above is except for apx alliance so the top alliance is not held to this standard because they're doing everything they can to ensure the server's success. So everyone else has to abide by these in order to help the top alliance uh where do we got where do we leave off here rich okay which warlord turtle golem cerberus buyer hunting rules top tier members monsters are reserved for apx only second tier monster hunting is available to alliances with a minimum of t 115 members Acknowledgement of potential outcomes. We understand that these changes may lead to non-renewal of NAP agreements with several alliances. Possible initiating a bubble and burn phase. We are prepared to face increased rally soloing and other challenges, focusing on outlasting and overcoming any opposition. Compliance and enforcement. Alliances agreeing to these new NAP terms must comply strictly. Any breach of the terms will result in immediate action without prior warning, as the agreement itself serves as the only warning needed. So I'll just say one thing there that we... So I do agree that like alliances on servers should merge to help out with monsters. And I also... You know, the speeding thing, like we try and talk with other alliances and say, hey, if none of us speed, it's great. We all save our speeds or we can all speed and it's the same result. Um, the problem is you can't enforce it, right? Like it's hard for us to hold one alliance, the whole alliance to be punished when there's no way to track who the person was who did a speed. So, yeah, it's, it's a tough situation. No one likes that. To ensure understanding, we will provide instructions on how to calculate Yemer, Hydra, and Pan scores, as well as determining positive negative SVS. This will allow all parties to fully comprehend the expectations. Non-compliance will be considered either an intentional breach or a lack of competence, both of which will lead to swift consequences. So I think I now understand what they mean here. I think they mean if you get 1 billion positive points in SVS, you're allowed to get up to 4,000 points in Yemer or Pans or Hydras. Um, if you get zero positive points, you're only allowed to get 1,000 score in Pans and Yemers and Hydras. Also, one other thing I did, I did ask a follow-up question, and I was told that only APX Alliance will be allowed to kill Yemer 5 and 6, and the top Hydra levels and the top Pan levels, everyone else will have to kill 1, 2, 3, 4. 
And that's to ensure that they continue to get some tactic scrolls so they can continue to develop and help the server, I guess, in future SVSs. So very generous of APX. So here we got final note. These proposed changes are intended to create a competitive environment that supports the needs of both PvP and non-PvP players. We believe these adjustments will foster a more balanced server and help avoid conflicts that disrupt gameplay. We invite alliances to discuss and consider these terms for the betterment of our shared community. Please talk to your alliance and let us know your decision. If we don't get an answer until SVS start, we expect you don't agree with the terms. So you can see that these guys are trying a new way to help the entire server grow. So, you know, really good on them trying something out of the box, something different than most servers. I think I've actually heard one other server does something like this, but it's a very old server and there's like one alliance on the map. So it's much easier for them to enforce this. These sort of things tend to be difficult on newer servers where, you know, people have only been playing for maybe two years and you know it's hard to people like that aren't just going to walk away from the game right and kind of when people have been playing for like a year and a half two years that's kind of at the point that no matter what they're not leaving for anything game related they might leave for real life stuff so wish this server the best and uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think will this help improve the entire server like subscribe leave a comment